The Biomedical Research Centre is a collaboration between Guy's and St Thomas' Hospital, which is one of the largest NHS foundation trusts in the UK, and one of the world's leading universities, King's College London. So our BRC links two main sites within South London. The first one at Guy's Hospital right next to the Shard houses our experimental medicine and therapeutics hub with a focus around immunological monitoring and our genomics centre. And then as we go down the River Thames near the Houses of Parliament and Big Ben we have St Thomas's Hospital which houses most of our paediatric, neonatal and women's research. Being in the heart of London gives us access to one of the most ethnically diverse and large patient populations in the world all of whom have access to our experimental medicine programmes of work at the BRC. Our key focus with experimental medicine is that we approach it in an interdisciplinary manner and our interdisciplinary programmes are underpinned by significant investment in world-class infrastructure. We have over 20 experimental therapeutics in the Biomedical Research Centre pipeline. We're now poised to deliver on our agenda of advanced precision therapeutics. One study is a first-in-man study in kidney transplant recipients, harnessing the body's own ability to make regulatory white blood cells. We're aiming to use those cells to infuse into kidney transplant recipients after transplantation in order to reduce or even eliminate the need for anti-rejection drugs. We set that study up here using the infrastructure of the BRC. The GMP facility is where we can purify the cells, we can enrich them, we can store them, and then right next door you have the clinical research facility where the cells can be infused into the patients with proper monitoring. And then further on after the transplant, we can take blood samples from the patients and analyze those in the immune monitoring facilities so that we can see if the cells are still active. I am one of the first patients in the world to undergo the treatment here in South London in the clinical research department. I'm hugely grateful to Guy's Hospital. The BRC facilities have enabled us to recruit some of the best and brightest young researchers in the field of stem cells and regenerative medicine. The platforms which are funded by the BRC are really world class. All of those platforms really help us to deliver improved cell therapies. We've developed a novel immune-based therapy for type 1 diabetes aimed at halting the progression of the disease. It's called multipeptide and we've been trialling it here at the BRC. During its development, we've utilised a range of the BRC's research platforms. These include the genomics platform that we use to identify genetic traits and the bioinformatics platform which draws on our new high-performance computing facility called Rosalind. Through effective leadership from the Trust and the BRC, we've been able to create a genuine clinical academic environment in allergy. Without this sort of environment that we have here, the research we produced, which led to some important changes in infant feeding guidelines, would just have been impossible. We're continuing to invest in innovation in our infrastructure, and we're working with a number of international manufacturers to ensure that our capability remains at the cutting edge to deliver our advanced therapeutics. A really good example of this is our work with Milteni Biotech, with whom we are developing the Max Quant Taito system, which allows us to sort cells in a sterile environment in the GMP facility prior to infusion into our patients. Our state-of-the-art infrastructure and strong commercial and non-commercial partnerships will enable us to deliver our outstanding experimental medicine pipeline. Our partnership with the Guys and St Thomas's charity has been absolutely critical to the success of the BRC over the last few years. Specifically, they've supported us with a capital award that's enabled us to maintain our infrastructure at the world leading edge. Guys and St Thomas's, in partnership with King's College London, are poised to become the premier academic foundation trust in the NHS. And we will continue to play a key role in national infrastructure, driving the agenda of health and wealth for the nation. We are totally committed to the BRC and fully supportive of its endeavours. Our vision for research at Guy's and St Thomas's is to embed it at the heart of the trust so it becomes business as usual. I think we've already made great strides on this journey. The BRC and its associated clinical research facility have been key to helping the trust become one of the largest recruiters to clinical trials in the UK. It is fundamental to our ability to realise our research ambitions and to remain at the forefront of experimental medicine. The Trust has earmarked space for an advanced therapy centre. The idea is that working with academic partners and partners in life sciences, we'll be able to take advanced treatments emerging from the BRC and turn them into drugs and treatments that will be available worldwide.